This is what's left of an apartment and store in Dauphin County after four people were killed in a fire early this morning. That fire broke out around 6 a.m. in Steelton. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. I'm Rachel Young Kunis. The victims are two children and two adults. Fox 43's Paula Beosa joins us live with how neighbors are reacting. Paula? Rachel, officials tell me the investigation is still ongoing. However, some neighbors say the two children and adults will be missed. They are an amazing family, and this is a tragedy that I don't know how long it'll take them to overcome, how long it'll take the neighborhood to overcome. Celestina Feev was at a gas station nearby when she saw smoke coming from the front of Raja Mar on South Front Street in Steelton just after 6 a.m. I said out loud, I hope that's not Raja's. But as we got closer, I said, it is Raja's, it is right. pull in, pull in. Celestine says she hopped out of the car and immediately started ringing the bell and banging on doors and windows. Screaming, Raja, Raja, Raja. The victims lived in an apartment above a convenience store. Investigators still aren't sure where the fire started. Celestine says this place was more than just a building. Everyone loved this place and Raja and his family. And this is just tragic. It's just tragic. Latoya Slaughter, who lives right in front of the building, says she heard screaming coming from outside. I ran outside to see that a uh, fire was outside, coming through the window, smoke coming out the side of the building. The name of the victims are not being released until their next of kin is notified. Right now, it is going to be an active investigation to, to rule out anything that was criminal in nature. For Latoya, the events of today will be hard to erase. From seeing everything and hearing everything and just knowing that um, people lost their lives in that tragic way is really sad. Officials say no one else but was hurt. They continue to investigate the cause of the fire. Live in Dauphin County, Paula Yoso, Fox 43 News.